Alright, so if you guys want to be featured in the next video for an online game I haven't covered yet, all you gotta do is just simply tell me what your PlayStation or Xbox name is, and I'll try and get to you if I can, okay? So without further delay, let's get on to the main game, okay? The main reason why we're here. Let's go! G'day, Sergeants, and welcome back to more of The Quarry. This time I actually said it right. <laughs> so, yeah, let's play. That says general store for those people who can't read cursive. So I can't read it either. Stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? <laughs> First course, filet al Jacob. Rich and full body, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Wow. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. Yeah! Whoa! And scene. Oh, I mean, I could have kicked it. You loosened it for me. Okay. So, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? Beep! Beep, 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 beep. What beep, are you doing? Beep. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? Bitch. But it, it's my beer dar, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. Wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. Hmm. Think it's locked. Don't know what I was expecting. Oh. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> oh! Jackpot! Hey, uh... Check out my giant melons. Oh. See? You just cut a hole in it? Mm-hmm. You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just, you pour the vodka right in it? Yeah. It's the most fun you could have with a hole in watermelon. Or, er, well, second most. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. All right, looks like we gotta walk around. By the way, using the word lame is like so 20, 2012, you know. Honestly, who uses the word lame in twenty? Who uses the word lame in our days? It's so twenty twelve. Harem Scarum? I wonder if that was the ha I wonder if that was one of the cards that, that woman wanted. I'm actually gonna come back and actually collect all of them. And yes, that video for me collecting stuff will count. Yeah, they look like the trapper from Dead by Daylight. <laughs> I've actually got a more gamer place to come for that video. I mean, for that ch video, for that bloody hell, I've got more videos to come for that game. I've just been working excessively hard on other projects and I haven't even gotten the time to actually sit down and play that game and, you know, record videos for it, so... 
Yeah, my schedule is very busy, and I'm trying my hardest to get to every game as I possibly can. Possibly? I mean, possibly. So where do I gotta go? I'm not giving them a yeah, clear direction. What's this? Oh yeah, fucking clown mask. With Hello, a spider. Friends. Oh yeah. Scared Jacob, let's do it. Can't pass up an opportunity like this. Okay. Have y'all ever seen a grown man crap his pants? Cause you're about to. Oh my. All right, now where should I hide? Jacob! Emma? Hello? Look, if you're trying to scare me, it's not gonna work. No, they're... they're funny. You think this is supposed to be funny? I mean... yeah. <sighs> well... Do you think it's funny now, little boy? I... oh, because... You want to join 20 of my sexy clown friends in a tiny car that somehow fits us all like it's no big deal? I... I... What? Moment's gone. <sighs> Not forgotten. All right, let's walk around. God damn, this bloody cord is getting in my way. All right. Um, where else do we go? What else do we have to do? Oh yeah, let's go into a fucking dark room because why not? I wonder where this goes. Locked. Ow! Mother! Hubbard! Ah! Ah! <sighs> what you, uh, what you done to your foot there? That looks painful. Shut up. Golly, Miss Molly. I wonder he kept this place locked up. I think he'll be pissed when we made a stash. What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um, <clears throat> human rights or whatever. Sure. Yeah. All right. Now let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Oh. Hell yeah. In and out. Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. All right, let's see what's around here that we can have. Let's check in the freezer. Of course we can't. Jacob, check this out. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. You look like camping supplies. Oh. Okay, um, there's tents back at the fire pit, so just, let's, let's go. Did a bear do this? You know, it's kind of depressing that they're not having burgers, or, you know, chi like, you got chips with you, take those with you. You know, you gotta eat, as well as, you know, having the beers or some shit, I don't know. All right, I think it's best that we head back to the camp. Whoa. 
What, nothing? My beard art saves the day, but you come back empty-handed? Who says I'm done looking? Okay, so we have to actually grab something. But what is there to grab? There's nothing. Oh, cool. A fucking shotgun. Right. What is it? A gun. Oh, cool. Not bad, and I'd pick that up. Code. 7739. I can remember that. Okay. I'm done. I suppose we got something now, so I guess we can leave. Oh. So you're, uh, you're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah, for bears. Okay, uh, well I am gonna find something to haul this lot back to camp. Well, you know, you could just be a man and take it back with your legs, you know. You know, but fucking never mind. So I suppose we can head out of this place. I think. I don't really need. I don't really see a necessary um encouragement to stay. So it's like, what the fuck were they keeping these? Oh, they were keeping supplies. I'm retarded. <laughs> All right. I'm in. Hey, very nice. <laughs> what else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. W oh, fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think we should. No, 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 Emma. Fireworks. You know, you're right. Fireworks. <laughs> yeah, 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 hell yeah. Fireworks. Oh, um, and might I just add, um, fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I found these, like, torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up, and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Stay right there. <sighs> Dude! Peanut butter butter pops! Dude, peanut butter fucking butter pops! What are butter pops? <laughs> no! What? I can't believe it! Um, okay, um... <clears throat> Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. <laughs> pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop. Oh my God, they're like the greatest snack of all time. What are they? Are they like popcorn? What? No, 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 no. They're nothing like popcorn. They're like their own thing, like their own subgenre of food snack. You know what? I haven't had these since I was a kid. You are in for such a treat. Okay, wait. Is there an expiration date on that bag? Um, no, they're still good. Oh my god, they're like 20 years old, aren't okay. they? Okay, look, they predate expiration dates. Blah. Well, you're gonna love them. Blah. Oh my god. All right. Well, <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure or buds. <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels. You can put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh, I see. <sighs> Ladies first. Um, yep. Which way? sanctum it's just an office this is where the magic happens <laughs> okay yeah let's just make this quick 
Sure, just give me a sec to get this going. And engage. Podcasts. Yeah. All right. Let me guess. Right now you're listening to one that has eerie music fade-ins and a mysterious demeanor and a broken syllable raspy voice and a mysterious lonely guy in his mom's basement getting hard for Area 51 and Bigfoot. I, I, sorry, not that you're into that stuff. I didn't mean to. Mm, I mean, whatever. I like it anyway. You know, I'd give it a listen. I mean, I don't care either way. No, Ryan, I'm gonna do this for you. What is the podcast called? Bizarre yet bonafide? You're trying not to laugh right now because it kind of sounds like boner, aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Unbelievable. <laughs> so, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children gonna have anyway? <laughs> Not Mr. H, I know. He's cool. He's always been cool to me. So what do we have to do in here, exactly? Well, we can open a door to somewhere. Yeah, I have oh take that back. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? I, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. <laughs> Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's... You're not a little bit curious? I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine. Don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but... Nothing but that. <laughs> you're using that wrong. Huh. Fashion icon. Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow, there's... Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... Uh, Brian? Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the camp. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just, probably just, Trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. So, okay, I'm going to upgrade Mr. H from super creepy pervert with a spy cam to, you know, super crazy conspiracy hunter. To be fair, Bigfoot's not a conspiracy. Okay, fine. How about an aspiring cryptozoologist? Hey, maybe he likes the podcast that you listen to. Sure, yeah, let's go with that. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff yeah that's what a secret is Brian it, it, it's weird it's majorly yeah, weird I don't disagree with you but it, it's it's got to be something juicy in here Dylan okay. it's it's none of our business and if you really want to know you can ask him tomorrow I'm sure that won't be an awkward conversation like at all okay yeah maybe I will all right I I'm leaving this secret layer have fun hey you just admitted that it's a secret layer
Well then, I mean, I guess he technically did. He did say it. Hack it lot. Hoddy. Ah, <laughs> uh, COVID. Nah, not COVID. Um, technically, he is spying on us. I mean, if you look at it. Look! That area on the left there, I can't remember exactly that what where that was from. What was that? I didn't see that. It's probably nothing. I think it was just a mouse. I'd say, was the game gonna bloody crash on me like it did with Siberia 3? <laughs> uh, those are quite good charges, I'm not gonna lie. If only my charger did that, but. My charger's half broken with a guitar. Huh. <sighs> Let's go into this room and see what's in here. Hmm. Whoa, there's some pretty heavy duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Yeah, there's nothing fun. Yeah, there's nothing fun, dude. Like, totally, yeah. Fucking dickhead. Alright. Let's see what's around here. Um. Not something you should be touching, dude. Kaylee That's... and Caleb Hackett. Weird kids, huh? Wait. I like them. Yeah, me, I, me too. Um, they are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. An orb. A ghost orb. <laughs> the one on the left is Caitlyn. You can tell by the face. Dude. A secret basement area. Oh, what is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> I knew that there was a secret sex dungeon around here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you Mr. H is into some real kinky shit. Uh, I doubt it. Weren't there a couple of counselors who never showed up? Uh huh. Why? Secret sex dungeon. Yeah, it's not funny. It probably just goes to the basement <laughs> or something. Open it up. All right. Well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness. So you're being dramatic. Climb down. Take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it. You climb down. What's down there? Oh my god, Ryan, you will what? not believe this. What, what, what? It's nothing. Oh, dang. I had you go in there for a second, didn't I? No. Maybe. <laughs> Just shut up. It is uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural, so... Yeah, okay, I'm coming back up. Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to this. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> ring a ding a ding Oh, sorry, bud. Gotta take this one second. Hello, Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What can I do for you on this darn tootin' doozy of a day? Is that your impression of Mr. H? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I, you're absolutely right. He does need to be nicer to Dylan. And, uh, what's that? You want him to give 
Dylan his phone number? That's a little forward, but I can see what I can do. Smooth. <laughs> Should have said sus. Oh. Laura Kearney and Max Brindley. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. So the chick's name was Laura. Gotcha. All right. Um, what else do we really need to even do here? Oh, the trash oh, can. This old thing. Oh, the phone. Hey, give me your number. I want to try it out. Why? Uh, so that I can ask you out on a date. Uh, mm, smooth. I think if I tried a cell phone number on this thing, it would just explode. Though. Hello? What? What? Who is it? Uh, hello? It's weird, I thought I heard someone. Huh. Maybe you should have asked them out on a date. Damn it, I missed my shot. <sighs> hmm. I actually wonder if we can ask him out on a date. Let's try it. So, got anything going on when you get back home? School, or? Uh. Jerry's out. Understood. Girlfriend? Uh, not exactly. Boyfriend? Free agent. Cool, yeah. Me too. Are the, uh, phones... Oh, uh, yeah, probably. You want to check? Oh, let's just give him another minute or two, just to be sure. I was really hoping you'd ask him out for a date, not gonna lie. Oh, the phones are right there, the phones are right there. There you go. Nice. Full up. Continue exploring or head to party. We're gonna continue exploring. You'd figure that there'd be at least like, you know, 50%. Because the amount of time we've been going around this place, that'd be at least at 50%. Let's see what we haven't explored yet. Nope. No, 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 no. Well, I don't really see any reason as to continue, continue, to continue here. Fuck me, why'd I? Oh, what? Postcards. Uh. Well, I don't see any reason to continue here, so let's go and head to the party. Unless there's something else we can do here that I didn't even see. I mean, I pretty much covered almost everything, so I'm pretty much free to go to the party. Nice. Full up. Yeah, let's go to the party. Hey, Dunzo. Alright, cool, let's go. Thank you. Yeah, we get to play as Nick. That's awesome. This would be a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get kind of, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. They always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. I'm 
which way should we go? Why don't you choose? Which one should we choose? Shady Glade or Rocky Road? Let's go Rocky Road. Good choice. Better sticks this way. Better sticks? Yeah. You like burning or whatever. <laughs> Think we've got enough? Not yet. All right, let's walk around. And as our girlfriend just casually follows us. So much copyright. I'm actually kind of getting, you know. This place was an actual quarry? Uh, yeah. Apparently some of the caves are in pretty deep. It's like a honeycomb under there. Cool. You know, I'm actually getting the feeling like I'm actually there with them in the quarry. I don't know why, I just... The game just makes me feel like it. it to be honest, it just does, this doesn't even feel like a game. It feels like I'm watching a movie. Probably should have just made this a movie, you know? <laughs> nah. Now there's two ways we can go. Fuck the falling rocks, who cares? Um, yeah, let's go into this one. Oh, fucking hell, mate. Speed this up, okay? Hurry out of the long, girl. I ain't picking up your slack. As the music just fades out, something must be happening close by. It's all right. Calm down. <laughs> hmm. Oh wait, we gotta go the other way. Right. Beautiful scenery. Not gonna lie, this kind of reminds me of um, Tatooine from Star Wars. Okay, well, what was the point of going through there, except, except you know, just extending gameplay? That was kind of a bit... fucking weird, not gonna lie. Wait, how, man, how many routes are there, actually? Oh, we just came from that route, so let's go this way. So, you ever think about what's next? Like... After we die? It's heavy, man. No, I mean like the future. Yeah. Sometimes. All the time. It's so overwhelming. I know what you mean. Sometimes I just try to like let it happen, you know? What? Like whatever happens is what was meant to happen. Like it's all predetermined. Eight. I don't know. I'm not sure we're supposed to know. Yeah. Fate just seems so convenient. How so? The fuck does that mean? Because if it's all predetermined and you do something terrible, then you have the excuse of saying, well, it wasn't really me because everything's been pre-planned and then I'm not really in control of my actions, am I? I never really thought about it like that before. I mean, well, it's, it's totally okay if you believe that. Yeah, no, totally. Yeah. I mean, from a certain point of view... Can we actually go this way? Oh, we can. I don't know if we're even meant to go this way, but I'm taking it anyway because I don't care. I guess we're stuck, so I suppose we were supposed to go the other way. 
Mate, just kiss her, okay? You, you want to kiss her, just fucking do it. Stop holding off from it. If she's your missus, she's your, your missus. Oh, what's that movie I'm getting the vibe of? What's that movie? Where we are? Yeah. Up here. Here, hold these. Sure. This view is just. Damn, Abby, you're really good. No, no, this is nothing. <laughs> no, really, I'm not just saying that. This is rough, but if I can get a little bit of it down, then I'll remember it better later. It's really cool you know that about yourself. Um, yeah, I guess so. I mean, not everyone knows what they're capable of, you know? I'm sure you're capable of a lot, Nick. I mean, of course, I just don't know what. Figure it out. Did you hear that? Hmm? It's probably nothing. No, listen. There's something there. Oh, look! It's so tiny. Oh my god, he's so cute. Hold on. by a creature of indeterminate origin. Don't breathe. You need to stop breathing, tricking the beast into taking you for nothing but a corpse. And where's the fun in hunting then which is already dead? Watch the visuals alter or listen to the sound change as the threat approaches. When the danger has passed, run. Pick the right moment and run for your life. Be warned. Exhaling or running at the wrong time may just mark you as the creature's quarry, causing serious consequences. All right, We're gonna hold our breath until this fucker goes away. I'm just legit. Come on, go away. No, that was a wrong, that was a wrong moment. Jeez, that was close. He almost just mowed me to death. We gave her a good story to tell her pig husband. How do you know it was the mommy pig? I got a pretty good look. Ew! I think she was coming on to me. Aww. 
got yourself a little girlfriend. Well, she wasn't that little. <laughs> Guess we should head back. I finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick. Yeah, we get to play with the phone. First of all, that looks beautiful. I would take a photo of that. Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Uh, whoa, now, back up. What? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Look it off, man. He, he's just got trail cameras set up. You know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh. You don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh... What's going on here? Everything ready? I, I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. Yeah, that was pretty spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Brian. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I told you never to say Hag of Hackett's Quarry again. What's wrong with saying Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Are you done? You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Wording. Oh, I know what I said. Abby, Nick, just in time. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that joke. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. Oh my gosh, it can't be. The hog of Hackett's quarry? What? I thought you hated that phrase. <laughs> big jokes take big sacrifices. You're so brave. Oh. I just want to shrink you down to little pocket people and put you in my pocket and peep at you when I need a little pick-me-up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Special delivery. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where the hell did that gun come dude, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh... Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine, fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and, we bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter puffs. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop! I didn't even know you could still find these anywhere. Oh, hey, hey, cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these... Are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on. Emma, please hand me the shotgun. What, you're going to shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. No, nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. Okay, 
mean, there is no way I'm leaving you dillweeds alone with a gun. Come on, look, the shooting range is like right over there, okay? It'll be fun. Okay, look, you and me, old-fashioned shootout. First prize, peanut butter butter pops, all to yourself. Dude, I guess you don't really want them then, huh? Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy! Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on. Please. All right. Yeah. Guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but if I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh. we'll be good. I thought he hit his dick. <laughs>